What the fuck are pilot studies? Health brands are constantly promoting the proven benefits of their products. But here's what's crazy. These claims are based on what scientists call pilot studies. Pilot studies aren't designed to prove anything conclusively. They're just preliminary research with a tiny sample size to just help scientists gauge if a real study is even worth it. Yet, time and time again, companies use pilot studies as definitive evidence that their solution works. In the world of scientific research, pilot studies sit at the bottom of what researchers call the evidence hierarchy. Scientists rarely deal in absolute certainty. Instead, they build a case with multiple lines of evidence. Scientific validation happens when several independent, well-designed studies come together and suggest the same thing over and over. This is why randomized controlled trials, or RCTs, are considered the gold standard in research. These larger trials assign people to different groups to isolate the actual effect and limit the bias in the experiment. And the strongest evidence comes from systematic reviews or meta-analyses of multiple randomized control trials and their results summarizing what we know. When several independent rigorous studies come together and suggest similar things, that's when we can start to consider something proven. And this is why most people get duped by fancy marketing claims. Most people don't know how to spot the difference between preliminary research and conclusive evidence. We see phrases like clinically tested or science backed and assume it just works. So whenever we're validating a wellness product on the decision lab, these are the things that we're looking at and we're examining. If you don't want to have to deal with this and just want us to do it for you, comment the word TDL to subscribe to our show.